At some point you're going to need to clean out your Pluto water drop trigger. It's going to get gunky, filled up inside and you'll need to clean the solenoids. It's a lot easier than you think it is. Things you're going to need is a 22mm spanner, 14mm spanner, a small Phillips or posi drive screwdriver and some plumber's sealing tape. So when you put it back together it doesn't leak. First thing, when they put these together in the factory they use some sort of sealant gunk. It's pretty standard but it's a nightmare to get off. I don't know why they use it, I really wish they wouldn't. We are going to need to clean the internal mechanisms on this thing. So there's 22, I'll get it apart. First time it's going to be, as I said, covered in gunk. Slowly apply pressure, it'll eventually give apart and come away. I have already done this one, so I haven't got to worry about it. But then you need to clean off the ends of the brass connecting and of any remaining gunk you'll have in the end here. Taking it apart makes it a lot easier to clean up so you don't damage the electrics. Now with the 14mm you need to take off this bolt here. Just one turn usually and it comes undone. I should gently apart. There we go. Now that part won't need cleaning so I'll keep that dry. Now on this part undo the screws Gently, because of the spring inside. There we go. This piece flows freely. Usually, all the gunk is in here and through there. If you get a uh, Q-tip cotton bud, literally, is a matter of just getting them wet, wiping it around the inside, into the gap there into the gaps in here, wiping it around and that cleans it up. Now what you might also need to do is take the actual nozzle off. Now I haven't done it on this one yet, but it's still sealed. This might give you a good demonstration of how tight it is. It is giving slowly. But that gunk is horrible. It seals it. But if you need to get it off, it holds it in place. So, there's the seals, unit empty, clean. There's also an arrow on the end, so you know which way to stick it back together. I said with a Q-tip, wiping round, cleaning it all out. Especially if you haven't used it for a while, you might need to clean it out. Once it's cleaned, of course, put it back together. Pretty straightforward. get the plate the right way around. It was the right way around. <laughs> there should be two little dimples on the outside which match up with two holes on here. Now, 
remembering which way it is up and down. That goes on there, that goes on that end. Right, so once I've got all the gunk off the bottom of this, here we go. Thinking this is the wrong way around. The arrow has to point up. That's right. Right, get it the right way around. Remember the arrow has to point up. Using sealant tape. Unscrew that way, wrap the tape around that way. Doesn't need to be tight, just firm. Now, putting this back on, it's fairly simple. Up to the side, should just slot in. Just so it's firm. And then, putting the reservoir back on again. Reminding yourself which way it comes off. So unscrews that way, put the tape on that way. Removing any excess tape from the inside so it doesn't interfere with the uh, trigger. That's great. And it's done.